What's up my crypto legends, in this episode we are taking a look at the Bitcoin price on the 4 hourly chart, okay, it looks like that we're having some massive bullish divergence, are we are looking for a reversal, is the bottom in, we are going to check out the 1 hourly chart to see if we can find any trading opportunities, also on Ethereum guys, remember yesterday we were talking about the VPVR at the $1,700 levels, we came straight down here and had a massive bounce, if you watched yesterday's video, you know what I'm talking about, we are going to take a look at the 1 hourly chart or also for Ethereum, some massive bullish divergence here. As you can see, there is a potential trade here, and I'm going to show you the exact target where we can arrive for Ethereum, guys. And make sure to take advantage of the $2,000 bonus for Femex. Only one day left, guys. If you use my link in the description, up to $2,200. Okay, guys. All the information is here in the link in the description. And massive thank you, guys. 275 likes in my last video. Make sure to smash up the like button. Let's get to 300 likes and subscribe if you haven't done yet i do daily technical analysis on bitcoin and other cryptos guys said this let's go straight into the chart Hello there, Andy here, and welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census, where you subscribe for the quickest technical analysis on Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and the financial markets. Not financial advisor, don't buy or sell anything that I say. If you do so, do your own research. Said this, let's go straight into the video. Okay, guys, before I start, I want to let you know that today at 4 p.m. Central European time, I'll be doing a live stream, so make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell. Let's go straight into the four hourly chart here for Bitcoin, because I want to zoom out here. And I want to show you here with the RSI, okay, in the, on the four hourly chart that we're having some massive bullish divergence, okay, as you can see right here. Let me just zoom in here so I can show you how the price of Bitcoin has been dropping while the RS, RSI has been um, going up, okay. We have the start here from this, uh, the RSI going up here, just right over here, okay, this was on the 13th of May, and we can see the RSI going here to extreme low levels before the below the 30s at about 22 okay on the RSI and we can see the price having a massive drop here when we just hit below the $30,000 and look how the RSI has been picking up okay and now we have created this higher low while the RSI is um, going up here so we can expect the RSI coming up here and the price having a massive bounce, okay? My target here, if we break here this trend line, which we are just about to break, my target is going to be the $42,500 range, just a little bit below that area, okay? So we should be popping out from here in the next coming hours or days to reach this price level, $42,500 in my opinion, okay? Let me just show you here in the past when we've had these massive um, bullish or bearish divergence, okay? Let's go with this other bullish divergence right over here, okay? This was in between the 17th of April all the way to the 25th of April, okay? And we can see the RSI also uh, picking up here. We have this low and we have this low here on the price and then the RSI picking up and then the price of Bitcoin also going down. Then we had a massive reversal as you can see right here. So also with the, in the same case with the bearish divergence, okay? Here in the past, we can see that the price of Bitcoin has been going up, okay? Uh, just in late 2020. Uh, while the RSI was going down, we can see that the price of Bitcoin was going up until, until we had a massive reversal, as you can see here. Okay, guys, so this is a, a pretty good uh, indicator that we are going to have a reversal sooner rather than later. Okay, guys, this is not 100% guaranteed, but as you can see, it does actually work by looking at the chart in the past. Okay, so let's just go to the one hourly chart so you can, you know, and let's find out to see if we can um, break this resistance point. I've connected these lower highs as you can see right here in the chart, okay? We did have some fake outs here, as you can see, and a lot of consolidation around this area. So I am looking for a breakout from this trend line and this lower high. As soon as we get above this lower high, it is gonna be looking very, very bullish. I am expecting a leg up all the way to the two thousand, uh, to the four, $42,500 range, where the next major resistance is, as you can see here. 
uh, in the chart, okay? Major support and major resistance at the $42,500 range. So this is looking quite bullish in my opinion. It does look like that we are kind of bottoming out here and we are looking for a reversal, okay guys? So this is what I got for Bitcoin. I'm just gonna go with the bullish scenario because it has been looking very, very bearish and it does look like that we are bottoming out. I don't see the price of Bitcoin going below the $30,000 range, okay? But this is, we could go sideways here for a little bit and then have the reversal. I do not see in the immediate short term Bitcoin going below $30,000. Let's take a look at Ethereum, guys, because Ethereum is also having some massive bullish divergence on the RSI. Let me just take um, the VPVR out of the way. Okay, and this is the one hourly chart for Ethereum. So what can we see here zooming in for Ethereum since from the 17th of May all the way till today, okay, on the 24th of May. We can see we have these massive, massive, okay, bullish divergence. We can see the price here coming low. We have this um, super low level on the RSI and we can see that the RSI has made um, a, low, a higher low and the price actually went below the $1,880, which was this low right over here. And yesterday we went to the $1,730 range. We were talking about this on the VPVR that we're very, very likely we're gonna have a bounce here, a lot of volume here traded and accumulated. So very, very likely we'll be having a massive bounce. The RS high, uh, did a higher low as you can see massive bullish divergence we can see in the past okay um, when this happens well I just showed you with Bitcoin I'm not going to find one now but when we have these bullish divergence or bearish divergence we usually have a reversal okay it's a very um, powerful indicator so what can we expect here for Ethereum in the next coming hours or days let me just show you because we are potentially forming for Ethereum well, we have formed a descending wedge, okay, which is very, very bullish. And we actually broke out of it already, but we haven't done it with a decent amount of volume. So let's just wait for a little bit of price action because this could be a fake out and we might come back in the descending wedge, okay? If I get these um, lower highs together, as you can see right over here in the chart, and these lower lows and connect them from this point over here, and this one over here, okay, we already got a descending wedge, as you can see here on the chart. So what is the target of a descending wedge? Well, it's supposedly it is the top of the wedge, okay, but we are not gonna go here in the next coming hours or potentially one day or two days. It might take a little while. This is the $3,600 range. We have massive resistance and we are in a huge bear trend, okay? So let's just expect that we are going to break out from here and then we are going to meet the next, uh, the closest resistance point, okay? Which would be the $2,500 range, okay? As you can see right over here, it's the, been the this would be the first resistance point where we have multiple touches right over here, $2,500. And the next one would be the $2,900 area right over here where we have multiple touches as resistance. Also a little bit of support here. Once, once the price of Ethereum came down, we did stay above the $2,900. So this would be a realistic target for Ethereum, okay? If we have a massive bounce from here, we managed to break the 2,500, very, very possible we'll be having a nice leg up to the $2,900 range, okay? This would be the target for this, um, this breakout, okay? The first two resistance to watch for Ethereum. I think that the $1,700 range, like I showed you yesterday with the BPVR, where I have this huge orange box, is going to hold nicely. We are looking for reversals now, guys. This is going to be it for today's episode. Remember, I'll be doing a live stream later on, so make sure to subscribe, guys, at four o'clock Central European time. And if you wanna take advantage of this Femex bonus, make sure to check it out, guys, the last day today, up to $2,200 by using my link in the description. 
If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section, okay? And if you haven't checked out the Bitcoin Sensors website, make sure to check it out, guys, because we've got incredible articles. We've got the latest technical analysis. We've got uh, exchange reviews where you can see where the best bonuses and fee conditions are. So I'll be leaving the link in the description so you can check it out. And if you haven't seen my Bybit or my Prime XB Team tutorial so you can learn how to trade, the video is popping up on your screen. Massive thank you for tuning in. Make sure to smash up the like button on your way out and I'll see you in the next one.